Carlos, welcome to the Albion. How excited are you to be here? It's really excited because I know how big West Bromwich Albion is as a club. Then it's a real pleasure to be to be here and to can lead this club, to can lead this team. What was it that really enticed you about this club? First of all, every time that as a coach I have been playing here, I felt something different when you arrive and you play in that stadium. You can feel how big West Bromwich is. You can feel the support and the fans, how they back the team and made that one stadium very difficult to play against. So first of all, always I had, I have had that feeling about the West Bromwich Albion with the fans that they have, that the club has, is a real powerful club. And secondly, I know the, the league has been working four years in the, in the championship. And I think that here we have one group of players that they can connect very well with the fans and they can make things in the pitch. Of course, football, uh, sometimes we have momentums and sometimes the momentum right now is not the right one. But I am here with a clear determination to change this, with a clear de determination to create one level of togetherness with the fans. That for me is very important because I really appreciate the, the effort of the fans supporting the team. And always as a coach, my target will be to make our, play, our fans proud of the team. Obviously you're joining us part way through a season. Have you had much chance to see the team in action before joining? Yes, I think always is important as a coach is that we that we are following the leagues where we think that we can develop our work. And for me, it was very important to analyze the team before I arrived here uh, to make the right, de the, the right decision. So I was watching close to every game that this team has played so far in the tournament. I was watching even more games of the championship, especially when I had the opportunity to have some break, some time to recover and to, to be following the team. And I have analyzed in detail the squad and the performance of the team during the, the competition. And obviously we're not in the position we want to be in in terms of the league table. How confident are you that you can you know, take the reins and, and lift us out of that position and hopefully get us going? I think the most important thing is to become a more competitive team because it's clear that the team is not getting the result that of course we want to, to get. But at the same time, football is like the life and the life challenges us in different situations. And as a player, as a coach, or as a fan, sometimes we need to live situations like that one that maybe nobody was expected to, to be living. But this you have to be, and we need to live as a real challenge that every West Bromwich fan and every West Bromwich player and member of the staff we have in front of us. So what we need to do is to face the situation as the situation is. And the key is to be the more competitive thing that we can be, the, to create one level of togetherness with the fans that allow us to compete better and the better we compete, the more options we are going to have to win the games. So I can guarantee to our fans that this group of players are going to work very, very hard to make them feel very proud. And you, you touched on there, the players. Was that a big draw for you, seeing the likes of the players we've got here at the squad and the quality they have? I know that uh, there is one group of players with a lot of possibilities and a lot of resources. I have been playing against many of them in my career as a coach, as an assistant coach, and I know what they can do in the, fo the football pitch, but sometimes uh, the thing doesn't work how we want. So I know that they are full of resources. The key now is as a team to show and to use all our resources and to use all the level of the players and to be the best team that we can be. And this is going to be our target every single day. Work to put the team in the highest level that we can put and to put the level of the players every individual player in the highest level that we can put to. And obviously you've had your first session with them. How did that go? Have you had a chance to you know, maybe get some of your messages across even though it's only been one session? Yes, and that moment for me is very important that uh, we share with them how we are going to leave football, how we are going to be during this season and what are our targets and our commitments. So for me it's very important that the, we start to create one relation with the players about not only about the football ideas, first of all, about the values that as a team we need to show and about the important that to show these values, of course, in the football pitch because we represent many fans and it's important that they feel identified with the team every time they are watching in the football pitch. So for us, it's very important that the values that we want to show in the football pitch, we show every single day 
and make of these values our habits to train and our habits to play. And you, you touched on it there, the values that you play to. How would you describe them to the West Bromwich Albion supporters? I think, first of all, is to give our best. I think in the life, uh, what we can control, we need to control and we need to guarantee. So I think the, the intensity, the concentration, and the passion, how we live the game, need to be the highest one. What happens in football is that sometimes the emotional values are very close with the tactical game, with the tactical possibilities. So that's why for me I understand that it's very important to work, to maximize our emotional aspect of the game, but at the same time increase our level of organization. Because if we run a lot, but we run bad, it's not going to work. But if we are just in a good organization with our effort, it's not going to work. So at the end, we need to link very well our level of emotion and passion in the game with the level of organization to can create a perfect link with these two aspects. And the fans will have seen the work that you did at Huddersfield Town, Carlos. You came so close to promotion. How confident are you that you can go that step further? Of course, every time you, you arrive to one club, you have dreams. And the dreams are part of the vision of the, of the club. But at the same time, I am focused and determined to face the situation that we need to face right now. Right now, it's clear and it's obvious that I am here employed by the club because the team is not competing enough well. And my first target is to increase the competitiveness level of the, of the team. Let's give one step front of this. And always, I know, or you know, which type of club you are and the vision and the target and the ambition of the clubs. But for me, I would like to link very well these two points. First of all, we need to face the situation that we have in front of us. But not only me as a coach, not only the players as a players, even the fans all together. Because sometimes we cannot just be disagree about that, what we, are, how, what we have in front of us. This is the real situation, and we need to move together from this point and to be a more competitive team. And of course, being a West Bromwich, you only can have a very high in ambitions uh, vision. And finally, you'll get a chance to go out the Hawthorns this weekend against Sheffield United, a really tough game. How excited are you to get out there and, and show the fans what, what you're all about and what your team can provide? Of course, we know that the, the competition, the championship is a very tough competition where every opponent is going to demand you a lot. So for me, it's important to start to give steps immediately and to start to show what we want to do as a team defense little by little how we want to defense, attack little by little how we want to attack. Of course, everyone needs some time to develop the ideas, but there are one part of, uh, like I told you, emotional aspects, emotional values, passion and determination that is important to show from the first moment.